You had a gun. Why didn't you help him? He was your friend. Because I was afraid. Okay? Afraid. Afraid of what? How do you shoot the devil in the back? What if you miss? <laughs> yeah, I let you they call ready. me Silly the Kid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we already hit record, dude. This whole thing's a wash. Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> some of us need a wash. It looks like <laughs> Eric is a little sweaty. It is warm he, he, in the valley. He worked up a sweat walking over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> as soon as he saw you, he started sweating. Yeah, there it is. Oh, All right, <laughs> welcome to Behind the Cork. I'm your host, Eric Rocha. Let's go to the left. Uh, left. Oh, hey, uh, Mitchell Verzi, uh, the, the Verzi triplets. Uh, follow us on TikTok, <laughs> and uh, my individual Mitchell Verzi. Fuck the triplets. So I'm breaking off. You pussy. <laughs> I knew you'd do it. Well, I have to. I have to plug it. Why not? Right. Plug both. Alrighty, and then go ahead, Lukester. <laughs> well, this is Luke Allen of the Allen family, hosting live from the Four or Five podcast at Uncle Luke Two on Instagram. Alrighty, Thank and. You Jesus Christ. And our special guest, I'm so happy I'm here. Please introduce yourself, sir. Uh, Aaron Patrick. Follow me on Instagram, Aaron W. Patrick, and podcast High School Dropouts. So (laughs) that's what I've been up to. (laughs) Who hosts it? Uh, Me, my buddy Jaron. He's a rapper, and uh, two other guys who are just randos. Oh, nice. And we're all high school dropouts, and... We just talk about race and tits, pretty much. It's a lot. See, uh, race. Pre- the pressing issue in 2021. <laughs> yeah. Race and titties. Race and titties. That's the whole thing. Are you talking about like the car or the species? The species. Oh, okay. Because uh, yeah, yeah. race and titties definitely goes together. Oh, yeah. yeah. Race and titties. Sunday, goes Sunday, Sunday. Do you have a preference on titties? Do you like white titties over like brown over, titties? Over brown. No, I don't. Uh, you don't discriminate? No, I don't really care. Mm. I think I probably prefer white. Really? But not out okay. of any... I just like not like a you know I just like white women. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have a hate for non-white tits. You know what I mean? But uh, <laughs> he's not condemning black. He's <laughs> yeah, fucking the white tit oh, races are so much better because they're not black. <laughs> yeah, so they call that tit discrimination. <laughs> oh Lord, Oof. how's everybody doing? <laughs> You're quite the boob. You know, I was, I was walking in the building and. Um, in the front door, there was there was an Asian woman coming down the stairs to go walk her dog. Mask on? Mask on, and then gave me a dirty look. Yeah. She looked Chinese and gave me the dirty look for not having the mask on. I'm like, how how does that work? She works in a hospital. You're the one that caused this, but, and you got the mask on. Isn't that, isn't that, would that be like if you walked by like an old German and he was mad that you had like a I love Jews shirt on or something? I don't know. I don't know. How does that come stack up? Uh, yeah, that's, that's exactly what should, that's should, like. Shouldn't they give us like a little bit? Yeah, I know. And just let it and let us be on our way. I just I feel like the, 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 if you're a Chinese, more, if you're going to mask shame somebody, you should take the L on that one. So did you want an apology? <laughs> we, I know where she lives. No. We go right down the hall. No, but it was just she was so I just didn't like seeing her stupid little face scrunch up because I never. And I, we weren't even really close to each other. I'm like, give me a break. I'll fucking that, you're that. probably going to eat that dog later. <laughs> <laughs> So on oh, that Instagram I was talking about before, that's not me. That's uh, that's uh, <laughs> fake. <laughs> no, I think I think she's a nurse. That's why she yeah. does all. She's going to need one. She looks at me like that again. <laughs> <laughs> she does a graveyard shift, as far as I know. She's going to be in a graveyard. Were you inside or outside when you walked across her? Outside, outside. inside, inside. Yeah, in yeah. the hallway. High ceilings, though. Mm. <laughs> The antithesis of a good comedy room, high ceilings. <laughs> ah, yes. So I couldn't make any Asian jokes to her. <laughs> no one would have laughed. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we could just put our fucking mic down. And yeah. leave. <laughs> just let Luke just bury himself. <laughs> Sorry. God, how did you get my fucking show canceled? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Why not? You're all coming with me. <laughs> Dragging out. I shot a hole in the boat. We're all going down. So <laughs> I first met you, Aaron. I, I remember I was doing um, sober shows. And Boring. I, <laughs> <laughs> um, are are you still sober? Yeah. How many years is it? Six years. God 
Damn. Let's, yeah. But I, <laughs> yeah, big deal. Um, yeah, but I got sober young at like 19, so didn't really count, you know. I just I didn't like I just fucked a bunch of shit up, went to jail and had to. Oh, that's good. really. Yeah, it was bad. But um When was the first time you got drunk? How old were you? 16. I only made it like 3 years. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's a <laughs> Damn. That's like a Jimmy Norton story. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. That's not I yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I, didn't I, I was well. drinking when I was fifteen. No, but like that's their, their whole their career lasted from like fourteen to like seventeen, and they were in rehab. Oh, and shit. I got gotcha. you. That's crazy. Bobby Kelly had that story. A couple guys, New Yorkers. Yeah, so I just fucked it all up. Went to jail. Got out. Went to rehab. How long was I in jail for? Yeah, like three months. <laughs> so not that long. But I was eighteen. I that's didn't enough, know anything. I think. Yeah, <laughs> I was terrified walking in there. I was like. And I kept thinking I was going to get out, so I didn't shower for a while. And finally, oh, my bunkmate was like, you got to wash your ass, bro. Like, this is not – I was just – it was bad. I mean, it, it was. I was also – I guess this was kind of like – I walked in, and my bunkmate was a 50-year-old black man from Memphis, Tennessee, mm. neck tats. His name was Semi, and he was in there for armed robbery. I was like, this is it. I'm sure, Luke, I'm sure Luke has some choice words about him. <laughs> Sounds like you were in the Shaw Stank Redemption. Come on. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I went in there for a few months, but it was, it was fine. It was like a, damn, his that's name was semi, crazy. his name was semi cause he drove semi trucks, nothing cool, but yeah. yeah he drove. Wait, wait, did you have a prison nickname? Uh, well they called me Arian because my name's Aaron, but <laughs> it was not, yeah. they just kept calling me Aryan <laughs> brotherhood. And I was like, that <laughs> black guy killed on the first day I was there. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, semi didn't make it. Semi and Aryan. Yeah. Living together. <laughs> Did you find the biggest guy right when you walked in and punched him right in the fucking face? Uh, no, I didn't. Oh, I kept okay. my mouth shut. I laid in bed and watched American Idol. For I did. That, I did that, but it was, it was my dad. <laughs> this, you can watch there? TV in there. Yeah. Oh, oh, dude, it's like yeah, they got. I mean, at least look at this guy talking know? like he's shut a fucking up. like he worked <laughs> in a fucking gu- in a, uh, an inmate uh, a guard in a fucking jail. <laughs> From the documentaries I've seen, it's like they have a couple. You oh, know, well, they that's how you know about yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. Jeez, Louise. I did we had some hard time. We had some nice. We had our own shower in our room. Me and Semi did. It was nice. Mm. Uh, in your room, you had your own shower. Own shower, own oh, toilet fuck. too. Wow. This turned oh, wow. turn out like Goodfellas. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, we had lobsters on Thursday. <laughs> I mean, this was not. A, I mean, we didn't even get to pick them. They <laughs> Sounds like the prison that Bernie Madoff went to. One of those <laughs> nice ones. No, it's not, not too bad. I think if you get out of like cities, you're fine. Or out of like Mississippi and Alabama, I think you don't want to get locked up in those states. Yeah, like a Texas prison. Yeah, you yeah. want to stay at a California prison. I feel like would be miserable. Where, where was your stay at? Georgia. So it was a bunch of okay. fucking good, like rednecks who didn't pay child support. Uh, it was like a mix of meth heads. It was, they were harmless. you know what's what kind of, do you make like friends there? Yeah. Like, do you get like pretty tight with people in there just well, yeah, because I, of the circumstances? Well, yeah, I, you do. <laughs> I did. I remember I gave them all my number. I was like, let's hang out. And then immediately when I like saw my mom, like she was there to get me out, and I was like, I'm never calling those fucking people <laughs> yeah. again. I was like, get this inmate clothes off me. That is not who I am. Yikes. I don't know what I was They're thinking. They're going to want to want you to bring them shit, like smuggle stuff oh. in for them. Oh, they'll ask me for money on their books. They'll be like, yeah. hey, can you te-? They'll message me on Facebook and their profile pictures of them like with barbed wire fence above them, like posing. <laughs> They're never getting out of there. But, well, um, it's. I mean, I get it though, because if you become that close with somebody and then they leave, like you're still that doesn't change oh, yeah. your circumstance yeah. anyway. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. hey, I say you know how to fly one of those drones. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to get one. It's some fishing hooks, it's some baggies, <laughs> and fly that into the Gringo. I mean, you got to respect the fact that they're making their own Facebook profile like oh, while they're in prison. Like yeah, they're yeah. still like trying to act like nothing's wrong. Like I didn't murder somebody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just like you know, this is my this, <laughs> this is my, my yard. Like they had the Pope well, with Ralph Lauren on. Like yeah. they're like, hey, we're grinding still. It's I wonder <laughs> if they, I wonder if they do like the old MySpace quizzes where it's like, oh, what uh, what you know, superhero would you be? Oh, like shit, time. like that. Yeah, yeah, all the time. They're it's like, oh no, I'm in there for being a uh, child rapist. <laughs> yeah. Somebody has a dish about what happened in cell block E. There's like gossip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was yeah. gossip list. It really Facebook is like high groups. school. There was like snitch list. They're like, did you hear what Jimmy did? It's like, yeah. y'all don't know this person if he snitched or not. And they're like sliding notes <laughs> under the door. Look at all those kites. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched documentaries too, Mitchell. <laughs> Like ten things you won't believe the Aryan Brotherhood did this weekend, like shit like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they had the cootie catchers. Yeah, yeah. There was a bunch of uh, a bunch of shit. Damn. So yeah. I mean, what 
you're coming out with was it hard to like readjust even though you were only in there three months that's that's no. still I, I went to a rehab cult afterwards so like my life was not normal <laughs> i went to this cult immediately after mm-hmm. and they were all like i love you I lo-, and i was like i don't know like dude what are we doing here i don't know and uh so i went there for like two years when so. you say cult like there's a documentary called the group about it on youtube you can oh, watch wow. it it's okay. got a this guy Bob Meehan was the leader. He got kicked out of California for like stealing <laughs> money <laughs> and uh, super racist. He like oh, Luke will love him. Yeah, yeah, big fan. Only uh, racist against the Chinese because they broke the earth with their disease. <laughs> Black people I have a problem with, but I love their women. Yeah, I think I heard you yelling "onion" at her when she walked out the door. Yeah, what does that mean, onion? Because they're yellow and stinky. Is what? That's like a derogatory. Oh, you it's a derog- you it's a derogatory. A no, no, no. That's a. It's a one I've heard. It's a derogatory. Oh, I never heard of that yeah, one. Yeah, uh, that must be a Sherman Oaks exclusive. Yeah. Uh, no, I think it's from Gran Torino when Clint Eastwood's making fun of people. I don't remember. It's that one, one of those ones. Yeah. Yeah. He calls them. <laughs> yeah, it's like a derogatory. That stinks. Issue. That's dumb. That's trying too hard. I'm just you know don't kill the messenger. I wish I could. <laughs> boy, <laughs> boy, I'd love to. Um, I, Wait, were, real, were people upset at Clint Eastwood when that movie came out, or no? I don't remember. But there is a lot of just him just saying racist know, shit about right, Asians. Yeah. Like that's the whole so. movie. No one really. Yeah, they really. Didn't. I think people were more upset about the acting. At least I was. <laughs> 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 I was gonna pick in that fucking movie for the acting. Yeah, I don't shit. They are so the casting terrible oh, in it. Yeah. Like, he does yeah. it all the time. Fake babies. He's a he's a mess. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Bokes and I went and saw that at um, the ArcLight in Hollywood, and the fucking people. They laughed at that movie more than any comedy I've ever seen. People laughed at every fucking line and all the inappropriate shit. They were, the fucking house lights came on and Bokes and I were the only white people in the theater. I could not believe it. It was the most racially diverse group and they all laughed at every racist joke like together. Everyone was like unified. Really? And, like, They're not yeah. even great. Like, it, it's, it's, no, it's not it's even funny. It's just so funny because you, never, you usually yeah. never get anything that, that inappropriate in a Hollywood movie. I call the black oh, no. spooks. I mean, it was still like. Yeah. Well, the only thing that really made me laugh, and I think I talked about this on an episode, was when uh, he's like, yo, old man, you're a G. And it was up, like pussy. some white guy, and he just goes, shut up, pussy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Go back and watch it. I think it's a little rougher than you think. I give it credit for. I love. I fucking love Grand Torino. The, the 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 casting was horrendous and really. I said the acting was terrible. It was. It put a big dent in what was otherwise a cinematic Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's right. Yeah, I was gonna say that. It, it, the and nothing against the the Asians in there, but like the the main character, the, the other damage main character has been done. You can't back out. Of yeah, just that. jump in with me, man. Just well, rewind. Just saying, the water's warm in here. Rewind saying, two minutes earlier, folks, if you want to know where his heart is. <laughs> <laughs> It was like the first time those dudes had ever acted. Like the the uh, like it was Clint and then people that had never acted before in their life. Oh no, yeah, they're that's people. That's not what you were saying before <laughs> we hit record. Christ. <laughs> By the way, you can take the scotch tape off your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> um you no can't words. say this. He's trying to get into Hollywood. He's like actually trying to get in yeah, the industry. Right. He's That's on, he's on Netflix. Wait. You can't, you oh, can't yeah. say things I just like, like this. I, would be there I just want to go on the record and say I love Asians. <laughs> I'm get, just to Tell us more, Vigil Mersey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, we didn't say nothing about the Jews. Those are the ones you got to stay in the good hand. If you're trying to get in Hollywood, didn't say nothing about the Jews. Jesus. No, no, we're good. I love the Jews. I love yeah. Jew brats. Best. I get Big it. Jew tits. I love that we... I <laughs> Aaron that went to prison for three months and then went to fucking to get sober and he's the most well adjusted one of his fucking <laughs> I know. He yeah. keeps looking at us like guys can we kind of tone it down yeah. a little bit? <laughs> this is not what I signed up for. <laughs> hey, y'all let it ride. I just can't say that stuff but y'all let it ride. You know I love I because um when you came, first came on my radar dude you were so fucking honest and you were so goddamn funny. And I remember we were doing a sobriety place. The detox. Yeah, detox. Center. It was oh, awful. Oh, okay. Gotcha. This is, okay. Sorry, I was like trying, I I have never met you before. Yeah, yeah, Or at least like maybe, I think I've maybe seen you like fourth like, wall and yeah, stuff, but yeah, 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 yeah Okay, but he's told me about this gig, so. Yeah. And was. I mean, he, you were so, it, it takes something special to really connect first and then get them to laugh. And you did it like a pro. I mean, it, it's really cool to see somebody that's done shit connect with people. Yeah. And like you just you seem to know really well. It was it was awesome to watch because you didn't fucking slide away from it either. Like you you were like, All right, where are my where are my coke heads at? 
<laughs> oh no! I mean, like, well, that's why I learned how to do comedy was in that room specifically, where I, I was like, I'd never, re- I'd done it for like a month or two. My buddy was like, just do thirty minutes, and I would have to go up there for thirty shit. minutes in Jeez. front of people on Suboxone and just try to like survive. And he would be like, nope, you're not getting off yet. I'd be like, I'm done, dude. Ooh. She's sleeping in her ice cream. This is <laughs> miserable. <laughs> <laughs> And I mean that show. It was a lot of fun though, because I'd see my buddy do an hour for him, and he would like, we would we could fuck around. So he would do only jokes sometimes for an hour, and these people are like, like getting Damn. wheeled in there, like <laughs> not the Sarah Quill's really fucking kicking in, and you just got to commit for an hour of just like, all right, let's, do, or they'll get offended if you talk about like. You could talk about anything. You could talk about onion Asian people, whatever you wanted. <laughs> but if you were like, have perfect, you perfect. But if you're like, have you talked to your dad recently? They're like, fuck you, and they'll like leave. Damn. They don't. Oh like, really? Fam- oh, family stuff. They're like, don't bring well, up my dad. Consider this. I mean, detox. You're talking to people like you. They woke up in L. A. and like the night before, all they remember was being in Jersey or some yeah. shit like that. Like, Those are awesome. Yeah. It's it's just like I. Like, hey, uh, so so where are you from? I remember doing one of those gigs one time, and uh, they were like, hell, I'm from Colorado. And I was like, I'm from Colorado. <laughs> and he was like, I woke up. They said, you're in Los Angeles. Welcome. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, uh, you know what's crazy about flying on a plane from Colorado to, oh, no. <laughs> to Los Angeles? <laughs> The airline food. Yeah. <laughs> you know, those people are out of their minds. They're, yeah, they're like literally two days off heroin, and they're just Jesus eating ice cream sandwiches. It's all yeah. non by a well, fucking threat. They pay comics in ice cream. Because I remember yeah. like standing there, and I was like, look at it. Because they've always got somebody in the your room favorite with gig, you then, huh? When you're doing it. Oh, fuck it. I loved it. I'll do it. Who's going to get something, shit? Well, yeah, exactly. You, and I was just you have like, to pay, much less, you know, I'll take food over nothing. Yeah, well, true. you'd sit there and you'd, like, they have, like, fucking ice cream galore. You're not bullshitting about no, that. Like, Ben and Jerry's ice cream sandwiches, like, your own little, they have every little thing in it's, this thing. It's fucking, it's, it's just cool. like one bad habit for the next one. Like, sugar is, like, the replacement. That but, place is just to load you up on drugs and get you to, like, not be talking to <laughs> demons or whatever you were yeah. doing out there. They're yeah. like, <laughs> we need you to relax for seven days, take a nap, and chill. We're going to give you a, a thousand milligrams of Valium and let these assholes talk to you every Friday. They didn't give a fuck. Damn! What like my buddy said? He would bring whoever. We'd bring strangers by and be like, "Sure, go do a set. I don't care." <laughs> and it was just, they didn't care what you said. Like the they yeah the people in the back with the nurses were like, "Whatever, do whatever." <laughs> yeah. I love we just need you to stop talking to demons for seven minutes. <laughs> yeah, we, we promised the judge you'd stop barking at the black people at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that really is the standard for those people. They're all fucking... I it's, met a guy who was shot at the Vegas shooting there. Uh, like he had like been recently shot. He was like, yeah, he showed me his buddy. He's like, I got shot at the Vegas shooting two weeks ago. And I was like, okay, cool. Damn. Dude, yeah. they're... I, I don't know. I Not the uh, not the detoxes. The detoxes were always a tough show. But the ones that were fun were the um, sobriety places. Because yeah. you could fucking say anything there. Mm-hmm. I... I What's the one that we did at the hospital? Was we that- did detox. Center. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That just sounds like a fun crowd because it's like it's already people that don't give a shit because they're doing drugs and partying and that's how they got there in the first place. I told him, I said, I go, you guys are what colleges used to be. <laughs> it's like you hold your heads up high because I fucking <laughs> I will do a sobriety place before I would ever fucking do a college. There's a uh, there's a place in Tarzana Treatment Center. It's the greatest. If when it comes back, you guys should go do it. It's the greatest show. In the world, like really? you feel like you're at Def Jam in the '90s. Like people are standing up, <laughs> slamming on their fists on the chair as you tell a joke, and you don't have to do anything really. They just lo- they're they're like homeless kind of, I think. But oh, like, beautiful. They are so grateful to have comedy, and they are like, oh shit! They're like standing up and like trying to roast each other. I mean, it is the craziest. I'm gonna film a special there. That's that seems like the best place. It, it's, it's it's a, a yeah. fucking blast though, dude, because. Those people love comedy. Like yeah. I, I still have a set recorded, and I remember I just by opening line I was like I moved the mic stand and I kind of went, mm, and I just moved it and the guy was like, it's not that heavy, and I just went I go is that what your wife said, and everybody just went oh. <laughs> 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 and I, 
I listened back to it. I was like, oh, God. Yeah. That's such a <laughs> shitty retort. That is but a bad dude, one. you would have thought that I came up. I was, that, I was the first person to ever say That's that. That's where my, my audience is. I'll do that everywhere I go. So I don't know why it would be any different from for you guys. But mm. I'm used to that. The yeah, chair it really shows crazy. right now. Yeah, huh? they go fucking nuts. They man. always like, stomp on this. I can't get out of there. All the flash bulbs going off my eyes. Everyone wants to take a picture and shit. It's just it's ridiculous. <laughs> Tired of it, quite honestly. It's I'm a human being. Too much. Too much. You were with I Diana when they were doing the Princess. <laughs> <laughs> what's the What's the worst gig you've done? You think? Because that seems like on on paper that seems like it would be like kind of like a nightmare. Yeah. Just, oh, oh, it is. It is a nightmare. Like yeah. right before COVID, <laughs> the last ones we did, we went to Carbondale, Illinois. We had a. They paid us like five grand, and we were going to do a week Jesus. week's worth of shows. We did one show, and they said the CEO of the company called us the rehab, and we're like. Yeah, don't come back, please. <laughs> so we Damn. got fired and we're stuck in Chicago for like a week. Oh, we, were shit. Like, we were like planning on doing the show every night and mm-hmm. traveling these places. Um, but we got there. We had traveled all. We woke up early, traveled, got there. And it's in a gymnasium and there's children and oh, old yeah. people oh, there. Oh, God. And immediately we were like, fuck. Like my buddy was even like, I'm sorry. Like who I was open for, he was like, "I'm sorry, we're doing this. Just good luck." And I was like, "Were the kids? Were the kids trying to get sober too?" Uh, the kids weren't, but there were actually te- there were 15 year old girls trying to. Oh, and, uh, nice. there was like teenage boys, teenage. They kept calling me Gay Burt Reynolds. First, they were like Gay Burt Reynolds. They just kept saying that over and over. That's again. better than Aryan. Yeah, yeah, a little better. Yeah, a little better. <laughs> Moving up. They, uh, we had one fan from that show, and he messaged my buddy, and he was like, hey, I th- don't worry about what they said. We think you're a cute couple. And me and my buddy were like, oh, we're not a couple, but, yeah. th- but thanks for liking us. And he was like, well, you could have fooled me. And it's like, dude, get the fuck. Stop messaging yeah. us. <laughs> you're <What>? queer. <laughs> he's, he's waiting on you to say yes so that he can hit on you. Yeah, That's yeah. What I, don't know. Like. I was like, but the getting fired, and uh, because we were underneath like the largest ketchup bottle <laughs> in the world, like this mm. like monument, and then getting a call, it's like you're fired from a rehab show. And it's like, <laughs> it doesn't get much worse than that in Carbondale, <laughs> Illinois. They were like, we've had enough of your entertainment. Damn. But uh, yeah, Well, it sounds like the worst was behind you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I like no, it. it's right Sorry. in front Drink of us. That <laughs> in, everybody. <laughs> Drink that in, everybody. Oh, no thanks. Uh, I will say it definitely does suck performing for kids. So whatever. We, anytime we go on the road or whatever. <laughs> this is why you're on the show. <laughs> God, that fucking just hit plow through. You just gotta yeah, plow just through. Keep through. <laughs> that felt like the Vegas shooting. Uh, you just gotta, <laughs> who's gonna say speak uh, from the fucking <laughs> mask? I got a couple uh, smiles up there. I know it. <laughs> uh, I will say performing for kids is definitely not fun. Like we, so we, anytime we go on the road, we we obviously plug our credits, and like AGT is like the main one. And anytime we do that on the road, someone brings their whole fucking family and it's like a seven year old will be in the front and it's like I, I can't you can't say this sh- you can't say anything to him no I don't know what they really were thinking can. I don't what seven year old would ever want to hear someone talk either when you're seven like d- well their parents just think it'll be fun but it's it's fucking miserable listen you guys are running around doing penguin acts and shit on the stage what the fuck do you expect <laughs> <laughs> fun for the whole family jerk offs Hey, you know it's, it's. Hey, that's more money if you if you if you get a bigger audience, you get a whole family coming in. The company more people. True, it is. It is, but it's definitely not ideal for comedy. It's a compromise. You get more yeah. money for sure. Like Fluffy can do it. You guys can fucking. Yeah, it's get your just shit not. Together. It's not as fun. It's Entertain those kids. It's definitely more of a job at that point because it's like, oh, you have to like be cautious about what you say, shit like that. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. they have expectations. The kids have expectations because like it almost means more to them. Yeah. They, like, they mommy, think, why is he the same size as us? <laughs> <laughs> I have the same shoes as it, man. Look. That's why you don't smoke, honey. Uh, Wait, do y'all get nasty on the road? Uh, we we are when we're at our best is when we're unfiltered. Okay, for sure. So do we yeah. have a clean act? Yes, but can we do unfiltered? For sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what? Unfiltered. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Sorry. Comics there. unleashed. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say unfiltered. Hey, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> Is that what Comedy Central told you to call yeah. it? Yeah, it's, it's network comedy is what, what we the, do, which means, it's not, which means it's, it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> no watering said, down here, folks. Ooh. Get ready. <laughs> I just Truth when you bombs. Said, when you start talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people really like us for our edgy, groundbreaking humor. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're known for. <laughs> when you were talking about performing to kids, I was like, could you imagine him going to a children's hospital? Ooh. <laughs> Oh my god! All these flat lines. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in enough pain. 
Like the nurses are running down the supply room like, we're running out of the fucking IV or whatever they used to knock the people up. Pain medication. <laughs> <laughs> the the oh. toddlers are they're they're denying their morphine. They want to go. <laughs> I, I can't take it anymore. Yeah. They're all fashioning their their sheets into a noose. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the, the strings you pull in their dolls. Yeah. They've been fucking using them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Put them around their neck. They're little shoelaces, but they're not long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Oof. Yeah, that's our good old unfiltered comedy. They love. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you mean, children's aspirin won't kill me? Yeah. <laughs> they, they call our, our comedy like that with a whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> They're terrible. Oof. Yeah, we they, it's, it's assisted suicide. Honestly, is what it is. Our comedy. Yeah. Oh. They start trying to choke to death in their crayons and just like ah. <laughs> <laughs> the boss uncle. Ugh. They start rejecting the bone marrow transplants. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, I bet he needs a funny bone transplant. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to guess uh, over the funny bone. Oh. <laughs> uh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Mitchell. Oh, it's all good. No, but it's good Yikes. that you perform for <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a compromise. It's for sure. <laughs> all right. I was going to. Never mind. All right. Really halted, so, the, halted the brakes on the show there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I tend to do that with uh, any comedy I do. <laughs> yeah. That's why I need two fucking idiots with me. <laughs> what was the craziest shit you saw when you were locked up? Oh, craziest shit. I know you've probably been asked this a hundred times. Um, nothing. I saw one fight with a. Uh, my buddy was a sign flipper. And he got famous yeah. from for sign flipping. So he got on the Ellen show for sign flipping. Like he No was, shit. Yeah, he was good. He was in there for a kidnapping though. He like locked a girl in a in a, in a bathroom. And uh I, I saw him uh <laughs> fuck this really big guy up and that was uh that was pretty tight. Seeing him seeing the sign flipper use his he'd been flipping signs for a while. He had some strength on him and he fucked that guy up. Um so that was pretty wild and then one of I uh, we got raided one night. The cops came in and and like shook yeah. us down and shit. And uh, they took my uh, sex book and that they're the cell sex book. It was under my pillow. It was under my mat. And everyone was so mad at me. Everyone was like, "What oh the fuck? God. Hide it better!" Because that was the only horny book we had. Okay, there we go. It's gonna be like, "What the hell is a sex book?" It's like a I've never heard real, it called that. Like a hustler? It's like no. Oh no no. It's just words. It's just like, oh, it's just like her funny. wet pussy. But like when you're in there for a while, you're like. Fuck! It's like the image version of Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh much. yeah, yeah. It's just yeah, like she was like a secret agent who like fucked bad guy. I don't know. It was the dumbest book in the world, Fuck and me. it was like this black girl with like high waisted jeans on the cover. Like you didn't mm. see anything, but it just said like pussy a bunch, and you were like, okay, let's fucking go. That Damn. is and, uh, crazy. You don't even yeah. get like the J.C. Penney lingerie catalog. Oh, like, that's nothing. Fuck. Oh no, you're not getting a Damn, look at like it. Royalty tip. now. But my when I was eleven. No, Thanks. you're not getting a look at a tit. There was there was a gay dude upstairs who would like massage people, but. That was about the only. There you go. Rocha would love it. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> my, my fucking my cells all decked out with like fucking nice vinyl. Uh, yeah, essential oils. Hi, yeah. yeah. Hi, are you here for the one thirty? I'm so I'm backed up. It's an open <laughs> sign. <laughs> little neon thing hanging in the. Why does this guy have pink bars? <laughs> he's got an Asian accent. He's just doing. <laughs> right. He's like, Thank you. Come again. <laughs> he's dressed <laughs> up <laughs> like. <laughs> The lady in Mulan with like the red lips. <laughs> He's got Every, rouge. <laughs> Every, we, just, we just lost our last Asian listener. <laughs> They're gone. These guys are terrible. <laughs> How great would it be if the lady downstairs actually listened and she was like, well, I just fucking threw her headphones off. <laughs> Fuck these guys. Every time I'm done jerking somebody off, somebody hits a gong. <laughs> <laughs> Get a fortune cookie at the end. <laughs> Just to let everybody know. <laughs> All right, who's next? <laughs> oh, I think I had a mile. You would fare well in prison, though. You would definitely do well in prison. <clears throat> no, I wouldn't. You? I I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> I don't think any of us would do well in prison. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think. Uh, but you. But like, you can be intimidating. D- yeah, until it comes to fu- dude. These people have fought like for. Of course. Yeah, most of them are jet. They work out yeah, there. They're fucking shredded. It depends on what prison, right? Are we going yeah. with lifers or are we going with two say. years? Or so? If we're going to like a little baby work camp and we're going to help the wildfires, I think all of us could survive a little bit. you yeah, know. But exactly. if we're going to those lifers where there really is like 
a lot of rape going on and a lot of like actual like your mind tonight. Then I think here's, none yeah, of us would survive. Here's, here's what I think you're. I don't want to say fantasizing in the way, but <laughs> I think what you're referring to is like, oh, you're gay. It, it means nothing to you. Oh, no, there's, not even that. There's no, like, romanticism, I think, in prison. It, like, I like to fuck guys. There, I think that they would want to fuck me. Because I, uh. I don't think it'd be me being like, well, you know, you you smashed my face in a pillow and then you hit me with a book. <laughs> so I bought them for you. Maybe, maybe you could bought them for me. <laughs> No, and then no, no. Be like, okay, don't get it again. And then he'd hit me. <laughs> I was going to say it's more because you're good at diffusing people. So, like, if anybody were to do that, I feel like you can get along with them well, and they wouldn't want to, like, you would end up, like, you could, turn them. you could turn them into, like, being That's what Patrice buddy. did in jail, remember? Really? But, yeah, remember that story when no. he got... That's immediately what I thought of when he said he wasn't showering. Yeah. His, Patrice had a friend right. in jail yeah. that had never showered. I knew I heard that from somewhere, and that's yeah. I forgot where it was. Patrice had a friend in jail that never showered because he was so paranoid about someone raping him uh, that he never showered. And they're like, yo, you need to get your boy in check. And the guy like legit lost his mind. He was like so – he got paranoid about all the shit. And it was like a petty offense. I can't remember what exactly they went to jail for. but um, Oh, it was rape, though. No, they like they fucked that – they ran a train on that girl. Oh yeah, yeah. And they yeah, accused yeah. him of it, and then the judge was kind of lenient though. They gave him like ninety days. But yeah, 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 they ran a train yeah. on her, and she's like, "They raped me." Yeah, it was a petty offense. He was running down a dream, <laughs> guilty of it. He was learning to fly. I know how those kids in the hospital crashed. feel now. <laughs> Decent. I liked it. That was quick. Um, yeah. So I don't think any of us would like to go, <laughs> go yeah, to prison. Yeah. Is the main thing. I, I think, think. I think I'm too. I don't want to like pat myself on the back, but I'm definitely like. I, I wish cute. we could put Luke in solitary for that fucking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You you would look in on him and he'd have all these fucking one liners written yeah. all over the walls. He's truly mad. <laughs> look, I'm just dealing time down here. <laughs> hey, how's it going? And guys, don't me. Oh. It was. Uh, <laughs> it was. Uh. <laughs> This is, this is horrendous. This is bad even for me. Yeah. I got like one writer left in the building. They all went home Seriously. Early, early tonight. <laughs> I gave the boys the night off. Only the woman is left. That's why these are. <laughs> Why not? I offended everybody else. Let's go. Fuck it. Let's just. <laughs> oh, God. Asian woman, too. So. Oh, yeah. So none of y'all have been to jail. I've not. I got a misdemeanor for a fake ID, um, but no jail time. No jail time? You, no. Eric, never? Your mother- I got. I was going to say, your mom worked at a correctional facility, didn't she? She worked at a, a juvenile corrections. Mm. And, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, oh. she... Mrs. R! It's fucking awful. <laughs> Dude, I, I love my mother, but... Oh, God. She was fucking... She was a hideous person to fucking have to do discipline with. Because, mm. like, with, with kids like that, their whole thing is like, okay, you know, Tommy raped... Uh, the girl across the street yet he denies it so you have to like do counseling that gets Tommy to admit what he has done so I would ask my mom I'd be like mom can I have money to go to the movies and she's like well why don't we sit down and talk about that and I'd be uh, like oh Jesus <laughs> fuck Christ oh man and she'd be like well Eric I asked you to clean your room on Tuesday and you said well I've got homework then you told me Wednesday that you weren't feeling good and you laid down and you went to sleep but you managed to eat two bowls of ice cream <laughs> Which I don't know how, because dairy is terrible when you're not feeling good, but I gave you the benefit of the doubt. Jeez. Here comes Thursday, Eric. Thursday, and you know what? Well, you just told me I'm not doing it. Now, here we are Friday, and you want money to go to the movies. So, why do you think I should give you money to go to the movies, Eric? And I remember I was like, just say no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Run back to my room. <laughs> Damn, how'd she not turn out to be a lawyer, for Christ's sake? It was insane, but that was like the training that they had to do. Because oh, like, yeah. earlier that whole week, she was like, all right, Tommy, well, you, you were the one in there with the girl, and she clearly identified you, and uh, she managed to name every part of your penis. How do you say that it's not you still? So Damn. That just kind of, yeah. So like, you right. should, uh, clearly not choose the wine in front of you. <laughs> That's what it <sounded> like. <laughs> Yeah, juvie is the worst, though. Those are like the... I mean, if you're a kid going to prison, you did something bad. Because I think yeah. they try to not send kids to prison yeah. as little as possible. So they, she was dealing with some demons. There was one kid she told me about that she said she felt really bad for him because 
I think I think he was. I don't even know what religion was. I don't want to say what religion it was because I don't <laughs> want anybody. I have no security at all. <laughs> I've got guns, but I have a right eye that's going blind. So join a club, fuck it. <laughs> so the next thing, anyways, um, this kid when he was like sixteen or seventeen, I think, fucking killed his sister because she was dating a Christian. Holy shit! And. So he was Jewish. I can, <laughs> <laughs> so I can assume with the religion. <laughs> so, so he killed his sister, and uh, everybody Damn. I guess kind of knew that the dad had put him up to it. Whoa! But my wow. mom said, when you talk to the kid, it was just you know he something snapped him. And my mom was like, "That is one kid that I was like, oh my god, you should not be here." <laughs> Damn. And it was just, it was so sad because he, by the end of it, he, I think he had converted. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it was just like every day. Like, well, he, he probably would... saw the areas, uh, errors of his ways. <laughs> you know, I ran to the light. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't co wait to fucking convert. convert. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you either kill Eric or he just looks at you disappointed. Yeah, yeah. But you take those good swings it's, it's and you a, hit yeah. a lot. You have a good batting it's, average, it's no honestly. Yeah, you do pretty well. I put it all on 22 when it comes up. <laughs> he he teases might be you weighted to dice. <laughs> I, this whole podcast is us, me and Luke, looking at Eric for his approval. And yeah. if he laughs, like, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. If I did that, you guys would yeah. fucking be here. <laughs> But you do good. He's a good batting average. You're doing. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Luke. Luke will dig himself out of everything. Yeah. yeah he he can have three bad jokes in a row, and the last one's a haymaker. <laughs> it's always a haymaker. Well, yeah. So, I like to go right to the edge there, and then pull everybody back. It's yeah. A real thrill, right? Yeah. <laughs> a punt. Yeah. So it's an unfiltered comedy we love here. Yeah. Un- <laughs> unfiltered <laughs> comedy. Podcast? The first triplets. Yeah. <laughs> so you you um. You were pretty honest, so I'll I'll be honest. Like we had, we had something pretty crazy happen in our our family. Like oh, ooh, I don't know if I even want to talk about this. It's it's like the deepest, darkest like family fucking secret. That's just terrible. Oh, now you exclusive. have to say it. Yeah, now you have so, to say it. BTC exclusive right here. Every and I guarantee you, every fucking roacher right now is like, no, <laughs> don't talk about that, you mouthy fag. <laughs> This is why we never invited you over for graduations. I, I'm actually surprised your family listens. Like my, I, our family could not give a fuck less about yeah. anything we do. Creatively. What's your family like? Well, go ahead. You can tell your story. <laughs> 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 this is what I'm talking about. I wait for his approval. Yeah, <laughs> and he fucking beats me in shame if I say something out of line. <laughs> You, 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 we all have tendencies. Yeah. <laughs> yours, yours are hilarious. It really is. Like he could talk about fucking, and that's when I, 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 I fucking, I killed her. I cut her throat, <laughs> and then Mitchell would be like, "Well, yeah, I mean, you have to because if somebody's gonna fucking rat on you, you, know, you just cut right <laughs> under the fucking aorta. <laughs> that's, that's what you gotta do." You know what I mean? <laughs> And we're like, how do you know? Like, yeah. I read it in a comic book. That's how I, that's what fucking Superman got away with it. Whatever the fuck you're talking about. Okay. Professional bullshitter. Okay, so. <laughs> do you want to hear more about my family? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our mom, anyways. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Good. Um, okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just I'll just tell you from from perspective because there's still like roaches that can't stand other roaches based on on this dividing line in the sand. Mm-hmm. I am in fourth grade, and all of a sudden I get pulled out of class, and I look I look down and there's all these I I've, I've told this story before. I look down and there's all these other roaches. And it's all of them. Like, what the fuck's going on here? They showed up at your school. Yeah, well, we're all in the same class. Like, oh. you know, what I mean, because there were a lot of us. There's a lot of cousins and shit like that. And I look over and I'm like, oh shit, there's my other cousin. There's there's that cousin. There's that cousin. And we're all kind of looking at each other, like, what the fuck's going on here? And my teacher's like, um, we uh, we we need to take you to the office. And I was like. And I'm looking at my cousin, I'm like, does anybody know what the fuck is going on? And in my the pit of my stomach, I'm like, oh, somebody did something. <laughs> like, yeah, this many that. roaches together is a bad fucking news. <laughs> so 
I go to the office, and there's my mom, and she's in fucking tears. Her eyes are all swollen red. I'm like, <laughs> old gypsy shit. Somebody's dead. Yeah. <laughs> like, I saw this oh. act called the Versi Triplets. <laughs> 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 Please stay away from them. There were three. <laughs> <laughs> they were in a Colgate commercial, brushing their teeth. <laughs> she, my mom's like Kevin Spacey and the Usual Suspects. I saw them, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you stop? Uh, How do you shoot the uh, devils in the back? <laughs> <laughs> what if you miss? How do you floss them? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> uh, my mom looks at me and, and she's like, well, there's no easy way to say this. Um, it was my grandpa's brother, so it was my great uncle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, your uncle killed your aunt with a hammer. Whoa! Holy and shit. Like, That's metal as fuck. <laughs> it was like, uh, okay. Mm. And it was crazy because like, the cousin... The cousin that like I I looked at, I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" It was horrendous, dude. It was it was her mom. Ah, uh, and it was just like, oh yikes. And then like I was like, "Oh my god!" And then I started crying because it was just like, "What the fuck?" And to this day, it's just like, you know, people said it was self defense, and it's just like, how the fuck do you the, just did they find the ever find you? the steak that she burned or <laughs> <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Wait, did you go back to class after that? Were they like, all right, go back to math class. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> why didn't she wait till you got home? Yeah, well, yeah I don't really know worth? why. Because it's not your mom, so it's like. Well, no. Were you was, close with them, though? Were you, did you oh, like. Yeah, have, like it was, would always it, grow it's up a small going, town, so it was just mm. like. <laughs> That's wild. Dude, it was. And, and it's funny because, like, to this day, I mean. You know, he was he was my blood uncle, and and she was the aunt, of course. Like you know, he married her, and it was just like, yeah, fuck him. It was like he killed his fuck. You know, he killed his wife with a fucking hand. Like, how do you fucking do that, you son of a bitch? Did and he go then, to jail? Oh yeah, he oh, was yeah. in jail for a long time, but he got out. Oh yeah, <laughs> jeez. The the story the story that it was was she went over there because they had had like a series of of fucking bad mishaps where I think she came over there with a gun one time. Oh, God. And uh, she actually went over to see him. And I don't know what the fuck happened. They got into it, and uh, she... They were they were like fucking punching each other because here was the thing. It, with my aunt, she was, a, she was tough, dude. Like, she... She was somebody that, like, if you hit her, she was going to hit you back because I think he knocked her around a bit. And the thing of it, dude, was they were they were fighting. There was a scuffle, and I mean, <clears throat> to this day, we don't know what's bullshit and what's true because, you know, there was. I guess the house was just horrendous. It, it was terrible. Obviously, it's a murder scene, but he had like cuts of glass in him. Oh fuck! And I don't know. You know, some people say it was self-inflicted that he hit her and then he tried to make it look like he did it himself. Obviously, I, I have no fucking idea. He did it to himself. But, <laughs> but like what Ike was, and Tina Rocha, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so, like, it, it was weird to see, like, I was like, Grandpa, you know what, what do you think? And he's just like, I don't know what to think. He's like, you know, it's it's your brother. Yeah, and he's like, but you're fucking, you can't kill your fucking wife. And I mean, they were gonna get divorced. I'm pretty sure, but it was just like the it, hammer makes it gnarly too. I feel like if you use a hammer, they shouldn't let you out. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, like I can't believe that because that's a lot of effort. That's yeah, that's, that's not, not one swing. That's a that's, that's a hack you job. Kept going, kept going. A yeah, gun yeah, is like dude. you could have made a oh fuck. I oh, yeah, Why did I do no. that? You know? But well, a hammer, he did. But it was multiple. how do you even stay angry that long? Like normally, oh, if you get in a fight within like. 15 seconds, you know, I'm like, this is dumb, but we got to keep fighting, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you gotta so be that's angry. a different level. Yeah, you got to be angry. I, this is probably the darkest show we've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And I'm the like, yellowest. <laughs> <laughs> the darkest well, yellow. Nice talking, everybody. <laughs> That sounds like some clue shit. We, like he killed her with a hammer <laughs> and the, like. We call this the dark yellow episode. The dark yellow. <laughs> oh, yeah. God damn it. 
<laughs> so it was weird because I remember being a kid. This is the only irony I could pull out of this because I still can't joke about it. But the only irony that I can fucking pull out of this goddamn story <laughs> is okay in Colorado. Uh, and we heard Larry King. Whoa! Uh, Colorado murder uh, Jesse Rocha. And I was like, Larry King just said uh. Rocha! <laughs> wow. That's wild. That's cool. Yeah, that's a good. Y'all next? Anyone? Any uh, murders in y'all's? I don't have any murders in my family. Fortunately. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I have some. Uh, some? Apparently. Oh, actually, no. That, sorry, go ahead. I, I know there's a. Well, I know there's at least one member that. Um, you know what? I don't. I'm not gonna say anything else. <laughs> I'll say yeah, mine. I'll say on. mine. There's I ben. told. I told my. Uh, the the yeah, only least, reason that's a big deal is because there are still roaches that are like cockroaches. No, yours was found and prosecuted. Thank these God. are God, these are things that may not have been. Uh, the, the, the long arm of the law may not have reached them yet. So wait. So your family's divided. Of some people are team brother, and some people are. Oh well. <laughs> some people are like, hey. I've never heard it put so succinctly. Yes, <laughs> it's like Team Edward and Team Jake. Like we're <laughs> the Roach at Twilight. Are you? <laughs> That's, are you for the? Yeah. Oh, and both sides probably equally judge. They're like, wow, it's his brother. Why would you judge exactly, him? He's, exactly. You know, she dude, probably was exactly, being mean to him, and then the other like, people are like, she he killed somebody. Like, you fucking animals. It's just like <laughs> That's amazing. What one of the funniest fucking things was, all of my uncles and aunts were getting hammered one night. <laughs> And they started talking about it. And I won't say who was sticking up for who, uh-huh. but my uncle got really hammered. And then no he, pun forgot, intended. he forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> I, I fucking. Everyone was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Too soon. So my, my uncle got really trashed one night. <laughs> and. Uh, he had forgotten something at, at the house, and I remember him knocking on the door. And the funniest thing he goes, hey, Eric, it's, it's Uncle Junior. And he goes, uh, if you let me in, I promise not to talk about Uncle Jesse. <laughs> 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 we, we all just laughed because it was one of those things that was just so fucking like, oh, my God. This is very intense. But, okay, oh, damn. allude to it the best you can. Without it could have been anybody, right? A guy named Daryl, let's say. Allegedly. I don't know any. I don't know any details. I just know that certain members in the family may, may have been involved. Well, you're gonna talk. You're gonna be begging to talk. <laughs> they may have been involved with members of uh, of a different sort of family. Uh, and uh, same with the same thing. Yeah, taking care of some taking care of some things here and there. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I'm not exaggerating either. This no, I don't doubt that. Pretty same recently, I found, the I found Baptist the Baptist house. Church. That's right. <laughs> That's where I get all my humor from. <laughs> <laughs> Runs in the fam. My uh, my great grandfather used to was born and raised in Sicily. Oh, this is such a great story. And uh, he has an olive farm that the whole family had. I'll live without hearing the rest of the story. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And uh, someone from the Sicily mob tried to shake him down, and while he was uh, on the ran- or on the olive farm, he murdered him. So <laughs> Tell they're the like story like Gene Hackman in French Connection. <laughs> <laughs> you ever pick your feet in Poughkeepsie? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so he murdered the one guy from the Sicilia mob. They're like, hey, you need to get out of here or they're going to kill our entire family. So he hopped on a boat. Wait came, a minute. Wait a minute. He, he murdered him? Yeah. The one guy from the mob tried to shake him down. Yeah. So did he, was it like an... You you tell this story much better. Don't don't try to over. <laughs> the one time I want you to fucking break something down, I want you to fucking. Do it. <laughs> so, it wasn't it more of like a he was gonna kill him, so he had to kill him kind of thing. Yeah, he tried to like he shook yeah, it. Like, so he didn't just fucking kill him. It was he came to like shake him down, and then there was a struggle over a shotgun, wasn't there? He had the shotgun and he killed him because he was on the pro- he was you know he, it was his olive farm, so he was just patrolling with the shotgun. The one guy tried to shake him down. He killed him because there was a struggle. And they're like, okay, you need to get the fuck out of here or they're going to kill us all. So he hopped on a boat, jumped ship at Ellis Island, then walked to Cleveland. And then allegedly they might have been associated with a mafia out there, some parts of our family, maybe a little bit. Uh, and then now our family is um, triplet TikTokers. So <laughs> yeah, really, the, the olive really fell far from that tree. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> my been, nephew, the been... Maso, are disgusted with him. <laughs> the we've, shame of the family. I used to believe in America. <laughs> uh, we've devolved a lot. <laughs> But yeah, that's like the one made murder stories. Like they hopped off the boat at Ellis Island. Why don't you go to TikTok? Why don't you come to me first? <laughs> <laughs> Found paradise on the internet. <laughs> well, I'm a superstitious man. Yeah. <laughs> if <laughs> if his phone should run out of power, <laughs> if his internet connection should suddenly shut off. <laughs> Don Crowley groaned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. If they should start acting like penguins. Or <laughs> dominoes. <laughs> Follow uh, each other. And I'm going to blame some of the studio executives in this room. Fuck. <laughs> Oh god, it's funny. It's, it's sad that that's like the crying. coolest part of our family is like not even I'm not even like attached at all to that. It's just like okay, yep, they were gangsters. They were gangsters, and I'm literally a fucking millennial. <laughs> so what? They, he started out in Cleveland. That's where your family got established. They were in. They yeah. He walked from he walked from Cleveland to or sorry New York to Cleveland, and then they. He just must like, have hitchhiked. I mean, that's fucking like 500 miles. Probably yeah. yeah. And then um, sorry, literal Luke. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you're good. Uh, and then they, there's like a Cleveland Mafia. There still is oh, a yeah, Cleveland I know. Mafia. Yeah. yeah, all the steel towns. Yeah. There's tons of rackets to get into. Yeah. So, so how'd you end up out here from Cleveland? Well, my grandpa ended up moving out here. Oh. Yeah. So whatever. My dad was born and raised in uh, Cleveland, though. Oh, no shit. Or in Warren Heights. Oh, okay. So we're shaking. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. So my dad was like at eight, he, they moved out here to LA. Oh, okay. Or CD oh. Valley is where I'm from. So yeah. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Did uh, w- did they ever go looking for him? I don't know. I, there's a lot of stuff that I'm like. They, yeah, that's a good point. They yeah. they've kept. I I feel like it's like I feel like AJ sometimes in The Sopranos where it's like I feel like they've <laughs> definitely, you know, kind of put white out over a couple things and they just don't even talk about it. Because my one uncle was talking about how he <laughs> he's like I'm like he was talking about how he went to jail. I'm like, what would you go to jail for? This was like literally last month in fucking. <laughs> Oh, we were talking about this. He's like, organized crime. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> that makes sense. He's like, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> he just like kept telling stories. I'm like, oh, shit. All right. And my dad just like never. My dad is so casual about fucking everything. He like, it doesn't matter what it is. He's just like, everything is casual. From dad, your, your uncle. He's, okay. So your dad was in. No, 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 no. My no. Dad. He, is, he is, I believe, the brother. <laughs> <laughs> But no, like it's it's all things that between point. the verses, okay? <laughs> it's all things that point. My dad is not in, but it's things that like on paper you might question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like he, he might, has a construction. He might business. have dabbled or something. Of course, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. maybe dabbled. Yeah. I, I don't know yeah, the yeah. Simi Valley thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't question it though, because it's like, all right, I don't really want to know if I. I don't want to know if I want to know. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy with the shit I got. I'm not gonna complain. I don't think he is. Though. Okay. I think my my uncle for sure though was. Yeah. So. That was like my yeah my grandpa's brother I think was because they all got street commissioner jobs through the mob. Yeah. In Buffalo. Yeah, of course. They're all dead, so that one I could talk about. But mm-hmm. uh, some other ones are still alive. Huh? <laughs> oh boy. I say, dude, some of the funny we were talking about this earlier today. Some of the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life is old Italian racism. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever looked up old Italian racism, but like they used to put up propaganda from Italian Americans coming like in the twenties. They had Italian American like propaganda because they didn't want Italians coming over here. Some of the I don't fun- blame them. <laughs> Some of the funniest shit they literally have like I, I think I have it on my phone. It's a photo of all these Italians as rats, and each of their heads like one guy's holding a knife, another one's holding like a fucking uh-huh. like a sh- like a chef's hat. It's fucking <laughs> hilarious, dude. It's some of the funniest stuff. But that was well, like they're all, they're all wearing wife beaters. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm gonna try and find it right now, but <laughs> yeah, they had the Irish ones. They were great. Yeah, the, dude. Just like it's like it's so obs- it, it's like so uh, nowadays. Like obviously, it's like it's so unacceptable. But it's like, dude, now it's like you can look back and you're like, okay, that's just like funny. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. so ridiculous that somebody thought like that. The, yeah, the, are you uh, Irish and Italian or no? 
I just found out I, we are 12% Irish. We just found out like two years ago. I'm mostly Italian and German. Italian and German, a little bit of French, and, and a little bit of Irish. 12%? I was like, holy shit. We took one of those uh, fucking DNA test things, remember? A lot about living and a little about living. <laughs> I was happy. I was like, I'm glad. Irish people are uh, fun. They're they miserable. They are or aren't. That's, yeah, that's definitely where I get some more of the misery from. Germans, Irish. Not happy. For Russians, those are some fucking pissed off people. What's what's your background here? American. I don't know. <laughs> it's all fucking <laughs> hell. I, hell feel like, yeah. really, I feel like in the South, no one really talks about like their, ha- you know what I mean? Their heritage like that. It's oh, all my God. Like, I found it. Here your last go. name's Irish. You can zoom in on yeah, this. Yeah, but it's... Uh, There's the Italian racism. It's fucking... It's Uncle Sam with a flute, and he's charming these Italian rats that's across awesome. the Atlantic. Dude, <laughs> One of them has a note in their, in their dude, mouth that just says black hand. Yes. That's that, all well, that's what the they, used, they used to call Italians at. Uh, why? Was it no, that's oh. what they call the mafia. Yeah. yeah. They're the black hand. Yeah, they call them black hands. Wop. I was talking to my I was talking to my ex today, and, and one of the she's Italian and from New York. I'm like I'm like oh you know like we we're talking about wops, and she's like what's that? She's like what has pussy? I'm like you don't know what the fuck a wop is? It's it means without papers. That's like what they used they to call. That's old school. That's East Coast shit. It's, so, it's very. But she's There's from no New, She's here. from New York. Oh right. Yeah. yeah that's, she's that's like true. from there. I'm like how nerds it is. Wop made it pretty long ways. We know about wops in Colorado. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's that joke. You remember the what does shit sound like when it hits that's a wall? Crazy. It's a fun. It's the funniest thing, dude. Sorry. And I'm the sorry, French dude. are in the background and they're I'm dancing leaving. and laughing. At, they're like, it's the funniest fucking photo. All right. Am I? Am I going to be able to post this? Where, where are you from in the South? Georgia. Okay. So yeah, there's no I, Italians. Oh, yeah, said, no yeah. Italians or Jews like they say in the Sopranos. What, what That's part? Cartersville, which I'll is like you. an hour north of Atlanta, like oh, okay. kind of like the North Georgia, beginning of like the North Georgia mountains. Yeah. But yeah, there's no uh, diversity. It's just like black people and white people. Yeah. And yeah. no one knows I hung about out Savannah like, for like a day last year, and I was like, it is so fucking nice here. I love like Georgia seemed like so fucking chill. Oh yeah, everybody yeah. was so everywhere you went, it was a nine minute conversation with somebody about just anything about nothing. Yeah, yeah, they're just it was like, awesome. I was like, people are so fucking nice here. Like shit, where are you from? Oh, okay, yeah. I've been out there before. I heard about that. That's nice. You're Italian. They just. <laughs> Well, yeah, we don't have none of that. We I met my first Jewish person in jail actually, and we just called him Jew. <laughs> they were like, "There's Jew over there," and, and he was always getting in trouble. Yeah, it was the I've best. <laughs> he was always what? in tru- what trouble. Hey, he just would like argue with the like. We saw him get li- like literally kicked in his ass because he wouldn't go to the top bunk. The guards were like, they probably were racist. I don't know. I'm sure they probably didn't like him. He was the one Jewish guy, mm. but they were like, "Get your ass on top," and he was like, "No." They fucking <laughs> drug his ass out there, and he was. I, I, I don't know if I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he was kind of a. But yeah, that's my first Jewish person I ever met was in prison, in jail. Yeah, his name is Jew. I was always stunned at I, I don't know just <laughs> uh, anti-Semitism. I don't. I I still don't get it. I don't get it either. That's it, old world shit. Though. Yeah, that's. I, that's I can't follow thing, it because it's. I don't know. I it 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 stuns me that oh. Group of people could bother another group of people that much. Yeah. I think that was original QAnon shit, though. You know what I mean? No, like no, legitimately. <laughs> I, I think that I really do think that was like <laughs> their way. Of, uh, that was their way of being like, oh, they're they're probably fucking kids and controlling the banks. I don't know if they thought, but but, the, but that's what I'm saying. Like with especially with the Italian thing, I'm like it, it's so we're so far removed from that. I'm just like it seems so obscure that like there's actually people that still believe that. Yeah, yeah. no, I don't. Because in Georgia, I grew up around a lot of racists, and they uh, they are. Oh, I uh, bet you've seen so shit. many racists, and mm. they, it's funny to me too. They'll be like mad about they're like, look at them, they're trying to call us all racist. I'm like, you kind of are. <laughs> I mean, no, no disrespect, <laughs> but you're like, get that black boy out of NASCAR on Facebook. You know what I mean? You kind of yeah. are a racist, <laughs> fuck. But they like Israel. They love Jews where I'm from. But in other parts where the Klan's big, they did not like uh, interest Jews them. But where I'm from, huge. Like I grew up being like. Civil War was not about slavery and go Israel. <laughs> that was like our big. <laughs> those were our big. I, oh god! I went to Charleston. Oh yeah. yeah, Charleston's kind of nice, but it was it's a cool spot. And it was really cool. And I mean, the one thing that was crazy was I remember uh, Thomas. I think listens to the show. I used to a guy named Thomas, really great guy. But I went to visit him, and his I it was his stepdad at the time. Oh, I'm sure that went over well. Yeah. Oh, your, it, your it ex-boyfriend. Was one of those where it was just like <laughs> his stepdad in Charleston, uh, South Carolina. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, "Hi, I'm I'm Eric." I remember. He, I'm plowing your like, son. 
<laughs> at the time, I wasn't. Ah, but you guys are waiting. Uh, yeah, well, it was so funny because uh, it was like, "Hi, Eric, nice to meet you." She's like, "I'm Steve. This is my son." <laughs> his son like would not fucking uh, shake my head. He just kind of had his arms crossed, and he's like, "Don't not bow." This guy have a fucking spittoonie span like, or what? <laughs> what? And I was like, oh. "Hmm." And I remember, like, my grandpa was like, if anybody ever speaks Spanish to you and you don't know what they're saying, just shrug your shoulders and go, mm mm-hmm. <laughs> And so that's all I did to talk to him. He was like, oh, God, I him. Tell him, give it. Give it to him. And I go, mm-hmm. Huh. mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> and Tom, I remember Thomas was like, he just asked you if you wanted a soda. <laughs> <laughs> And that response kind of works. Like, I don't know. They upset my stomach. You know, I don't need any more soda. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck are they saying down here? But best food I've ever had. Oh, good food. Ever. Made with a lot ever. of love. Like, yeah. ever, ever, ever. I can never say enough good shit about it. Oh, yeah. No, the Georgia food is like anywhere you go, it's like good home-cooked meals. Mm-hmm. It's good. But, yeah, they're all fucking stupid I don't they're just all they really are their stereotype you know what I mean I tried oh, to defend wow. them and I'm like they kind of are that's Please. the most offensive thing that's been said on this podcast what? Right is. <laughs> this is southerners are, <laughs> yeah, are retarded dumb. and uh, <laughs> racist uh, everything the mainstream media says is true they are retarded racist no hmm. they're um they're fine. It's weird because it's like they'll they'll drop a lot of in bombs, but then they also hang out with black. It's like there's a mix. Of yeah, like, you're right. Some people who just say the like uh, Morgan Whalen, the famous country singer. Yeah, he yeah, just yeah. got in trouble for saying the n word, but he did kind of say it in the most casual way that people say it in in Georgia. Like they call each other. Maybe that's why they get along better down there because at least they're honest and they know. Like black people don't like being bullshit, and they know. I think that's why a lot of black people like Trump because he just said it like it was, and there was no. Isn't that what Chappelle said? Direct. Chappelle's like, at least I know. Yeah, like, he's Patrice like, said I that like, too. I like Southern races because they're open about it. Yeah, it's well, just yeah. like you know what you're dealing with. Well, yeah, you also they're they're mingled more. You come out here, every <sighs> single fucking black person is pushed 20 miles south. No, yeah. you're and right. Like, no, you're right. N- like in Georgia, there was ba- in Atlanta, there's bars where like hipsters, frat bros, and thugs are all hanging out at the same bar, mm-hmm. and like I think. They maybe do respect, like they've had to mingle with each other. It's been a pretty rough history down there, and yeah. they've kind of just like learned to get along. Whereas down here, I'm sure it's like they got to look at fucking Silver Lake whites all yeah. the time, which is <laughs> it's not it's, a good. Yeah, it's very pandering. Like, yeah. oh, it, yeah. it always annoyed me. And condescending too. When yeah, it always annoyed me how many people loved Lady Gaga when they wouldn't pay attention to local gay artists that were like really fucking good yeah. and it's just like and I remember like the years ago <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a lie that's a lie they, they were not w- good <laughs> 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 they call that a turn in the biz <laughs> oh, they do say one in three is gay so yeah not me yeah, with your Britney Spears shirt on and pink fucking <laughs> letters. He's got a Britney Spears shirt on. Are you a part of the Free Britney movement? Is that why? I just like Britney Spears, dude. I, she's one of my first boners back in the day. I love her music. I, I'm a big fan. Have you, did you watch the documentary? I have not watched it. Well, yeah, I have not watched it yet. Dude. I'm going my to. Early days, I remember getting pegged to Britney Spears. <laughs> That's what pegged? Said. Which oh, song? Yeah. Do you remember the song? Yeah, which one? Uh, my first boner was no, from a peg. Oh. <laughs> Both are toxic, is what if that's what you're <laughs> if that's what you're wondering. It's both are toxic. <laughs> he he was biting down on something hard, to, but then he it slipped and he bit his tongue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Does she get naked in the documentary? In the documentary, I, don't, I haven't watched it. Oh no, she doesn't. It's very oh, yeah. sad. It's she sad. Is, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, there's not a bit of sexiness going on in that documentary. She is. is she all right now or what? No. Dude, oh, no. okay, she, so they... She, yeah, oh. she's, like, locked up right now. <laughs> so oh, really? tell Grandpa Luke <laughs> yeah. what she's going on with Britney Spears. Fucking she's, boomer. She's, like, in her dad's, like, basement, pretty much. They have a oh, conservatory wow. over her where she can't go see people or have control over her money. Yeah. Uh, because she... Uh, she has no say whatsoever in any of her actions. She doesn't Eating like. food, uh, medicine, she can't say... Was she... Did she have mental problems before, or did this all... She got I'm, famous and I'm crazy? I'm sure it was after she got famous. It was, it was 10 years ago when she... Remember when she shaved her head and was, like, hitting the thing with the yeah. uh, the most fucked up thing that the, they were like asking the paparazzi they're like do you think you had anything to do with her kind of losing it and they're like no and then uh, they were like <laughs> she never said leave us alone and they're like what about when she said please leave me alone and they're like I thought that was just for the day but <laughs> she was like begging them and she just 
Can you not take pictures and post them of my pussy when yeah. I'm getting out of the car? Oh, <laughs> God. That was so sad when it's I saw so that thing. fucked up. Oh, what a fucking hatchet wound that was. Yeah. You know how many... <laughs> that was a disaster. That was like a fucking octopus that fell off a 10-story building. <laughs> <laughs> I was so disappointed. That's so specific. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't a good one. After hearing that, I might have to change my shirt. <laughs> yeah. That's making me ill. <laughs> it's hard to get a good beaver shot, though, that where it looks good. When it's a, but it's probably, Especially coming out of a house. car. A Lamborghini, too, that's low. That's yeah. a bad angle. It's pointing up. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, not, it's all yeah, tangled it's up. You sound like a gynecologist in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to get a good beaver in here anymore. <laughs> I yeah. got my assistant taking 12 photos a day on one pussy. Oh we can't God. get a damn good one. <laughs> Look at Luke. Especially if it's like the leg is open and you're seeing like the the bit, like the whole area. It's just not flattering. Luke, Luke as a gynecologist would be the most heinous. Funny shit. You would, you would just crack jokes the I entire time. Like, then you got to deal with too much of the best. Stick your finger up. Like, oh, was that a baby? Oh, oh yeah. just kidding. Like. You would just make jokes the entire time. You, oh, I lost my watch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he pulls out a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> He's snorting in her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty clean. Looks pretty clean. It. Is there not going here? <laughs> it's pretty big. Pretty big. <laughs> yeah, what's the smell? Did I bring tuna sandwich or lunch? <laughs> I'm just kidding, dog. <laughs> can, can you can you hear me or am I muffled? <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be a gynecologist like that out there. Oh, there has to be uh, someone, some I, old guy who'd never like. Luke he, doesn't care. Luke's perfect because he can he can keep one eye on what he's doing and fucked up, and then he can keep one eye on the door. <laughs> Chameleon, right. yeah, that's right. God give a gift. <laughs> I've got the wrong business, guys. <laughs> oh, that and judging tennis. Oh. Yeah, dude. There's a part of me that's happy that like I, I see this. Sh- you see this shit with like Britney Spears and all those old people that like got started in show business really young. Like, so I, I don't know if it, it, me and my brothers were all child, we were child actors growing up, and our biggest claim to fame was like Disney was yeah, gonna do. You were. <laughs> <laughs> we're really good friends with Brian Singer, and our bit no our biggest claim to fame was uh, such talented boys, <laughs> Uncle <laughs> Paul. <laughs> uh. But we yeah, had that's a, not mine. That's Jim Norton's. That's Jim Norton's. Um, so we were going to be we were the triplet option for the Sweet Life of Zach and Cody on Disney. So it was between us and the Sprouse twins. They ended up going with the twins. But there's a part of me that's like, dude, if I if we had gotten that show, we would have been obviously fucking separate life. But then you hear shit like that, and I'm like, dude, I am so happy that that didn't happen because. Like it, it never works out well. No, for no. any of those Disney kids, they seem like they just go bananas after whatever a couple you of years. You think they're mean to them, or you think they're Dude, sweet? To I, them? I think they're. I think they got some fucked up. I think there's behind the scenes. They're probably stuff. too enabling. They just give them whatever the fuck they yeah, want. Yeah, I think they're good to them. They yeah, they're good them to them. They're too good. Yeah. Well, didn't you see the fucking? Uh, remember that documentary about the Backstreet Boys and the NSYNC? Yeah. They got paid <laughs> after what two years of fucking hard labor. Yeah. They all they all got invited to dinner. He's like, "All right, you're gonna get your first check," and they all open it, and it was like, "Fucking!" You see all of the Backstreet Boys, or you see all of NSYNC, and you see Lance Bass, and he's like, "I like open my check," and I was like, "He was like, uh, are you kidding me?" <laughs> and you're like, "What? How much did he give you?" And he's like, ten thousand dollars," and you were like, "Ooh." Hoo, hoo. You got fucked hard. Oh, they were just pimping him out. And dude, just, this is what that's was what so they do. Funny. They do that with everybody. Yeah, he said. Well, what was great about it was the fat fuck that was their manager. Lou Perlman. Yeah, Lou Perlman. Had, he had signed on and made them sign contracts that made them this, that made him the sixth member of NSYNC. Oh, so he got like a, oh, yeah. a, an so extra got, on top of what he already he got. Wow. Well, yeah, everything was like was his doing. And how they how they justified it was just like, okay, well... Um, um, in the beginning of the movie, they're talking about all the perks and shit that they got. He's like, you know, he'd rent out these mansions, and we'd have sleepovers, and he'd order you know all kinds of pizza, and we'd have a fucking fountain that just shot out red Kool Aid, and we were like, oh, this is amazing. He's like, this is so great, and he's like, yeah, this can all be your guys. I'm gonna take you right to the top. He's like, because when we looked at our ten thousand dollars, like, where'd all of our money go? He's like, oh, you remember that fucking Kool Aid fountain you liked so much? <laughs> <laughs> they just yeah, spent- you bought that, you fucking dummy. <laughs> 
Yeah, that, all the shit, all the dinners that he was whining and dining them. It was, it was all their fucking money. It was money. their money. Yeah. Damn. That, did you hate the Sprouse Brothers growing up? When you saw that show, were you livid? You um, didn't watch it? I never, I did not watch it, but... um. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I still we still are like a little sore about it, but <laughs> it's funny because you got fucking... your own show, the, the public life of Hack and Cody. After, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Was it gonna be three of y'all then, or no? Yeah, so we were gonna be the. It was gonna be the. It was, it was gonna be the <laughs> sweet <laughs> life of Zach, Zach Cody and Cody and Jack. Oh, yeah, okay. whatever the fuck <laughs> we were gonna do. Doing all uh, two queers and a little maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, dude, it's weird because like you can, they still have careers. Like, oh yeah, still, yeah, the one guy's like, like the one is married to like a sports illustrator. Like they're living the dream. Oh yeah, yeah. hey, but you I'm, got your own podcast. Fuck them. Uh, right. I, sh- I share one. I share two podcasts. I share my own, and then I share, oh. <laughs> I share roaches. One, one, I just heard a body fall. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd my shotgun go? <laughs> yeah. Oof, I need that hammer. <laughs> No, but I like it's like stuff like that where I'm like I don't, dude. There's like so many weird stories about like any of those Disney kids growing up that I'm like I'm happy that it didn't go. They that all way. turned out like Shia LaBeouf even he kind of made a cool comeback and then it turned out he was like shooting stray dogs and like yeah. raping people <laughs> and it was like okay, <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And Miley Cyrus, you think she got her shit together and then her fucking she's got a mullet and tits out and yeah. it's like none of them people have their shit together. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. So I'm happy it didn't go that way. Or they get fat like Hillary Duff, like they just turn in like unattractive. Hillary Duff is still hot, dude. I is she? Sta- is she? Oh, I thought she got thick. Okay, she maybe got she thick. Did. She got a, she got a booty. Yeah, she's. Still hey, she's hot. not Kelly Clarkson thick, but uh, <laughs> no, 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 not Kelly that. Clarkson. Poor Kelly Clarkson. Uh, damn, she's doing all right. I don't feel bad for her. Um, <laughs> he talked about shooting the stray animals. Yeah, he so, did. That's crazy. So, you know, maybe laugh. It reminded me of my uncle. It was uh, my aunt's ex husband, so he wasn't blood. <laughs> I've already tainted the roaches enough with this shit. Yeah, but, seriously. <clears throat> So he was he was living with his uh, girlfriend at the time, and they were in this apartment. And uh, it was only supposed to be rented out to her, but he was staying with her too. And then three of her kids came and stayed in the apartment across the room. Oh Jesus! Without even knowing, it was just like uh, <laughs> and I told. Him, I was like, I don't think you guys are supposed to be in there. <laughs> and they were like, "Fuck you, fat ass!" <laughs> what did they say? Yeah. The- I was like, okay. Enjoy the wraith tonight. (laughs) Jesus. All right, well, I'm glad I get to sleep in my own bed, you fucks. But (laughs) this is what was so funny was I I remember he'd get a little bit of money, and it was so incredible what irresponsible adults (laughs) wasted their fucking money on. So instead of, like, paying back, like, child support or any of that other shit, he, he never paid what he owed. But what he did do is he bought a really expensive blow dart gun. And I was like... How expensive do they get for Christ's sake? What the fuck is this? Well, the, this is what cracked me up. Was, I was like, fuck me. I go, can I use this blow dart gun? And he goes, no. <laughs> I go, can I hold it? And he goes, yeah, but you can't be blowing any darts. He's like, I already lost three fucking darts. And I go, well, where are they? And he goes, I don't know. Ask dipshit. <laughs> And they all, like, they all, fathers and sons started fighting. And he goes, what? He goes, I had to fucking clean your mess last I go, mess, what are you talking about? And I go, oh. And I looked in the backyard, and there was, like, four fucking stray cats that they had shot blow darts into. And I was like, <laughs> you fucking, you hillbilly motherfuckers. Oh, shit. And he's like, yeah. He goes, he fucking shot three cats, and they got away. That's what fucking happened my darts. And I was like. I want to go home now. Like, you guys are <laughs> fucked up. You roaches seem to have a tendency That's for not violence. That's roach. I just said. Oh, shut up, in. you fucking black hand motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Let's not start judging here. <laughs> <You> fucking giddy. <laughs> Okay, so you had a story that you were waiting for the podcast. What's the fucking story? Oh, yeah. Okay, so um, I... Uh, was talking to my ex and I was talking and she said she has a gay friend back in New York it's like her gay best friend Woo! and he thought he had an ingrown hair in his gooch right where is the gooch uh, the gooch is the show part- us the gooch <laughs> <laughs> the gooch is the part between the balls and the asshole it's like that in between area right the taint what I heard it called goich but yeah whatever it is <laughs> <laughs> anyways local colloquialism he's so, from Romania <laughs> so he um 
he went and absolutely <laughs> disgusting. Sorry, uh, Roach is trying to touch me, and uh, <laughs> is that the goich? <laughs> <laughs> Goichik. So he he thought he had an ingrown hair in his taint, so he went to the doctors and they did like a full colonoscopy or whatever, and they're like, hey, you don't have an ingrown hair. Woo. Your your digestive system is trying to make a second asshole. And it's pushing everything to your gooch as opposed to pushing it out the ass. And how he, does that happen? I, I, well, I, I, I don't this imagine is like a fucking uh, uh, David Cronenberg movie. <laughs> the fuck? Well, I don't, I don't know how he, I don't know how they remedy it. Like, I don't know what they do to correct. They got a drill? They, they must like. Re- <laughs> <laughs> mm. They must somehow find a way to re adjust the intestines to like line it back up would it be like a normal new asshole though that'd be kind of fun i don't know they would have to make it <laughs> have two little ass- that'd yeah. be kind of nice like yeah. at the airport yeah, yeah, yeah the, the, the express train in new york yeah, you got one. <laughs> chipotle comes out this yeah, one yeah exactly but then all the all the really expensive meals come out the, yeah. oh we have another service entrance <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, apparently, uh, like I, I don't know what the fuck is it's happening. But like they, I don't know how they fix that. No, well, like his asshole is literally forming a new asshole. Does the asshole have now? Does that one work, or is nothing no, coming out, dude? It's 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 like it's pushing everything to the gooch and not to his hole. So it's just a it's pressure. pushing nothing to the to the poo to the butthole or uh, it's a, a pushing. Pa- it, That's what I'm saying. It, it's pushing some, but not. It, it's oh. enough to make discomfort and like make it feel like he has a. Fucking giant and grown. He's got hair. yeah. He's got a giant pressure on his gooch at all times. His his boyfriend's at that doctor's appointment. He's like, uh, "This is terribly sad. I, I'm <laughs> very very concerned about this." But I, uh, just a quick question: um, Would I be allowed to stick my dick in the other asshole? Too? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Tommy! <laughs> what? I if they make the second one, you know what his nickname will be around the workplace: semicolon. <laughs> Be friends with semi. Semi, semi. Yeah, that's how they semi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's he's literally forming a mangina. It's fucking crazy. I don't know wow. what they do about that. But that's that's what. I was doing. That sounds like a medical book. They should do a fucking documentary or something. Yeah, yeah heard of like this. episode of House or something. Yeah, right. it really, yeah, it's it really is. fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> hey, you idiots! That's crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gays anatomy. <laughs> Gays. <laughs> <laughs> All the doctors are just running a train on a second yeah. asshole. They're not telling them what it is. We don't quite know what it is yet. We need to keep digging in there. <laughs> oh, Aaron, I fucking wanted to have you out. I think you're hilarious, dude. You're dude. you're a guy that always fucking makes me laugh. You're always hard to follow. Yeah. Every time oh, I'm, I'm I fucking do a show with you, you, Michael Monsoor, it's it's funny because. I'll, I'll, I got that compliment, and I was like, "Fuck, you know, I you're one of those guys that I I love I love watching you crush, but it always makes me fucking nervous too because I'm like, son of a bitch, <laughs> that guy just fucking tore the room apart." Well, you do the same thing too. It's always uh... no, dude, not not like you. Dude. It's just oh, like holy you. shit. Like you're it's... thinking of a buffet. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> like... <laughs> you never want to follow Aaron to the buffet. Well, you can't. Don't repeat it. It's gone. Empty chafing dishes everywhere. <laughs> God, well, there's plenty of vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck you guys. <laughs> Sorry. What do you got to say, Black Hill? I'm good. <laughs> oh, that's me. Yeah, man, I, I can't thank you enough for coming on the show. Thank y'all for having me. Oh, yeah, it was you're fun. You're kicking the ass, buddy. You always are, man. Um, one more time, where can they follow you? Aaron W. Patrick on Instagram and at the high school dropouts. Fuck so. yeah. All right, to my left. Uh, Mitchell Verzi on Instagram, Verzi Triplets on all the other platforms. That's it. All righty, and to you, sir. Oh, Luke Allen, live from the 405 podcast. Much less racist than this. I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I really, yeah, we really went off the I got rails. really bit by the Archie Bunker bug before I fucking came in here somehow. I don't know Those what the fuck. Those were the days. Yeah. <laughs> The guy with a four eyes is a glasses. The guy was the guy with four eyes is a queer. <laughs> Two eyes is whatever. It's a fag. I forget. I forgot the quote. Uh, this is my partner. Oh, what's your business? Uh, <laughs> taxes. And I'm an attorney, and she goes, Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs>